Hello, in the third video about electrostatics, we will speak about Coulomb's law. Let's watch this video, then we discuss it. A plastic ruler is rubbed with fur, then placed very close to tiny pieces of paper. The plastic ruler attracts the papers. Can you point out the reason behind the motion of the papers? Forces can cause motion. True. Do you think this is a contact force or a force acting at a distance? The ruler was able to attract the papers from a distance. We are dealing with a force that acts from a distance. Identify this force. Both the ruler and the tiny pieces of paper are electrified. This must be the electrostatic force. Exactly, let us explore the electrostatic force by using the following simulations. Consider two charged particles Q1 and Q2 placed at distance d apart. The two charged particles interact. The first particle exerts on the second particle a force F1 on 2. At the same time, the second exerts on the first a force F2 on 1. The two interactions F1 on 2 and F2 on 1 have the same magnitude, the same line of action, which is the line joining the centers of Q1 and Q2, and opposite directions. Note that the electrostatic interaction can be either an attraction or a repulsion, according to whether the interacting charges have opposite signs or same signs. What are the factors affecting the magnitude of the interaction between the two particles? This is a force between two charged particles, so as the magnitude of any of the two charges increases the magnitude of the force increases as well. The magnitude of the force decreases when the magnitude of the charge decreases. The magnitude of the electrostatic force is proportional to the product of the two charges. Can you think of another factor affecting the magnitude of this force? When the charges are brought closer that is the distance between them decreases the magnitude of the electrostatic force increases. In this case we increase the distance between the two particles. The electrostatic force decreases we can conclude that the magnitude of the electric force is inversely proportional to the distance d. We are almost there. The magnitude of the electrostatic force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance d between the two particles. Let us put this all into an equation. F is proportional to the absolute value of Q1 and Q2 and inversely proportional to D squared. F equals K times the absolute value of Q1 times the absolute value of Q2 divided by D squared. Can you identify the constant K? K is a constant that depends upon the nature of the medium in which the two charges are placed. K is measured experimentally and its approximate value in vacuum or in air is K equals 9 times 10 power 9. This formula is known as Coulomb's law after the name of the scientist who established it. Now I want you to make a table showing the SI unit of each quantity in Coulomb's law. The charge Q in Coulombs, the distance D in meters, and the force F in newtons. The SI unit of the constant K must be derived from the other units. Rearranging Coulomb's law we get K equals F times D squared divided by the product of Q1 and Q2. So K is expressed in Newtons times meter squared over Coulomb's squared. Let's check your understanding. 